Good evening, Church. A blessed Wednesday to everyone and welcome to our prayer meeting. To start our service tonight, may I request everyone to please stand. And may I call on Brother JR to lead us in our opening prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, Abel, Father, we thank you for this time, Lord. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa pagkakataon na binigay niyo po sa amin upang uh, makapunta dito sa bahay simbahan. We pray, Panginoon, for uh, the service na maging, uh, maging blessed, Panginoon, sa inyong word, Panginoon, and sa mga kapatiran po namin na may sakit, Panginoon. Ikaw po ang uh, nawa ang uh, maglapat ng inyong uh, kamay na kagalingan, Panginoon, sa kanila. And we pray for... Uh, this time, Lord, na uh, inyong Holy Spirit at ikaw po mo, uh, ikaw, ang inyong pangalan po ang may, may itaas dito sa service po namin, Panginoon. At ito lang po ang sa langit sa Panginoon Yesus. Amen. Please remain standing as we proceed to our singing. Get your hymnals and turn to hymn number 84, Mansion Over the Hilltop. Hymn number 84 in your hymnals. If you are there, say Amen. Amen. We'll be singing the first and second verses of this song. Let's sing it all together. Ready now, sing. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below. A little Shine. I want a gold one, that silver line. I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land where we will never grow old. And like the prophet, my pillow was stone. And though I find here no permanent dwelling, I know he'll give me a mansion my own. be seated. Okay, good evening and welcome to our prayer meeting and this is the time that we could pray together and um, talk to God. So, sa gabi pong ito, bago tayo magdako sa ating mga request, uh, dito mayroon po baka yung mga mga Thanksgiving na nais uh, sabihin sa Panginoon. Okay? Okay, Thanksgiving. Okay. okay. How about testimonies? Of soul winning? 
Okay, so punta na tayo sa request ninyo bago yung dito sa listahan. Okay, anybody? Mga pre-requests? Okay, okay, si Sister uh, Rios. Good evening, Church. Request to include prayer for the group that we have in HSBC. We have the Christians in HSBC uh, and it's a group of believers. And I'm, I'm very glad that the, the company actually allows for, for us to congregate or be together as Christians and fellowship together, pray for each other, and also pray for the bank, pray for the leadership of the bank and our employment as well. So I, I'm part of the... Christians in HSBC, the Philippines chapter, so please include in prayer that we'll have more and we can invite more. We're inviting Sir Dennis to, to actually come and give admonition. That will be like twice a month for 15 minutes, Sir Dennis. So <laughs> and let's pray that that will be used so we can have more, uh, more people to know Christ in the corporate world. Thank okay. you. So that's overwhelming. Good evening, Church. Um, blessing po last Sunday na nakalating po ng save sila Pastor Ariel and si Juan Penny po sa ating anniversary. Um, nabibless, may mga tao pong nag-share ng kanilang testimony paano po naging blessing yung service natin um, the, last Sunday. And also po prayer request sa prayer list po sa number 26 kung mababasa niyo po yung Alayla Seja um, last April po 2023 nagkaroon po siya ng kanyang operation sa kanyang spine sa likod so ngayon po ang nangyari po uh, hindi po siya hindi po naging okay yung kanyang likod nakakaramdam pa po siya ng pain tapos sinabihan po siya ng doctor niya na kapag po hindi po na-operahan, na baka po mas lalong lumala. Yung operation po, it will cost 600,000 po. Ito pong nasa prayer request po na ito, um, ini-invite ko po siya dito sa church natin kasi isa po siya sa mga supplier na kinukuhaan po natin kapag may mga events tayo. Um, please uh, help me to pray for her po na sana po one of uh, this day, may invite po natin siya sa services natin at makakilala po siya sa Panginoon. Okay. Siya po yung nag-initiate talaga na uh, ipag-pray po siya dito sa church natin. Ayun lang po. Thank you. Okay. That's great. Uh, meron pa po? Anybody? Okay. So... Dadako na po tayo dito sa ating mga prayer requests. Aside from the regular prayer request na nandito po, uh, mayroon po kayong mga updates po sa mga uh, binahagi ninyong prayer request. Uh, kasi minsan po mayroon po dito nakalista yung pala, either matagal ng magaling o matagal ng patay. So nasa listahan pa rin natin. So minsan kinakailangan natin tanungin, uh, dito. Si ito po si Norman Barte, siya po ay yumao na. Uh, cancer stage 4, stage four bina, bina, binanggit po sa akin ni Brother Aljaid. I was going to be called when I was asked by, ano, by the family to go. And sabi ko, iba na lang po si Brother Aljaid. And Brother Aljaid visited him. <coughs> at nakapag-share po doon si Brother Aljaid sa family po nila. Siya po ay dati kong estudyante sa high school department. So you, just, you probably would remember, you would know. Ganun ako, ganun na yun, uh, katagal. So, um, so, high school department po ng Sunday School dito sa Baptist Bible Church. So, uh, nawitness ang po ni Brother Aljade, ang kanyang anak, at iba pang mga family na nandito doon. And we praise God for that. So, nailibing na po siya. Uh, nailibing na po siya. So, ano pa po? Um... Uh, dito po sa ating mga regular prayer request, yung mga bago po, yung binanggit po dito ni Sister uh, uh, MTB sa number 26 at iba pa po dito mga sa prayer list natin. So, uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer and then uh, 
after uh, five minutes, uh, we will have a corporate prayer.
Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we come before your holy throne of grace and we acknowledge, Lord, our in need of grace before you. You are God who is holy, you are God who is righteous, and you are, there is none yet like you all over the heaven and on the earth as well. Lord, we, as we come, Lord, we acknowledge our own insufficiency, our own sin before thee, and we trust in the, for, in the atoning work of Jesus Christ to take care of our sin problem. Lord, tonight uh, we lay our petitions before thee, especially, O oh Lord, for our church, that may your Holy Spirit always guide the church, Lord, and may Jesus Christ will always be the head in whom we are looked up to, and may the scripture be always our authority and nothing, O oh Lord, should ever change that. And tonight, Lord, even as we um, pray for our brethren, I pray for those who are, are dealing with cancer, Inis Castellano, Hias Morales, Sister Sonia Basciato, uh, Sister Irene Marcelo, uh, Gisela Salinga, and Jan Martin Rodam, and uh, Jan Robert Romero, Tess Mariano, Adelaida Navarro, and Pastor Arnolfo Gonzaga. I pray, God, that you would touch them with your healing hand, and for some, oh God, that you would, uh, uh, they would come to your saving knowledge. For G Sister Janet Medidas, Carol Luanco, Sister Cory Spilo, Sister Susan Mapuyan, Sister Jevelyn Tatel, Sister Martis Beray, um, Rebecca Capilan, some of them, uh, I pray God that uh, some of them, Lord, are in need of uh, financial provision, even as they are battling with this disease. I pray God for your thoughts on their lives. We pray God for those that are dealing with other diseases. Sister Mina Padagas, Brother Pumencio Capuras, Tony Ababao, Sister L.B. Gelloresa, uh, Brother Leon Cabico, Bertu Nichua, Jose Tamunda, Helmar Cabico, uh, Sister Ramona Malapajo, Ricardo Marquez, uh, Sister, uh, Jocelyn Sumistrado, Grace Tanya Pabustan, Eno Cronsis Valles, Willie Garcia, Sister Sofia Jimenez, Sister Joyce Mayuga, uh, Sister Sierra Lontok, uh, Manuel Alarcio Hong, Fatima Valdez, Lo Loridin Failma, uh, Sister Lossi Lairon, Mark Agliam, Ann Aris, Sister Delia Yu, and Pastor Ereño Bugtong, Bernardo Gariando, Brother Danilo Solomon, Donato Beray, and Stephen Ababao, and also for the complete healing of Brother Sergio Saconco, and also strength for Brother Stewart Peters and Dennis Duret, and also for uh, Sister Ar Rain Ariate Bartelet and Ligia Abordo and uh, Anne Candido and Ayla Seiya. And for our missionaries and pastors, Lord, I pray to God that you would uh, provide for their needs, empower them with your Holy Spirit, and open doors for ministry. We pray also, oh Lord, for uh, our be, be brethren in conflict areas such as those in Afghanistan, uh, Russia, Myanmar, and other places, Lord, and I pray God for your grace be upon those who are believers there. And <clears throat> uh, for Alegria Fundamental Baptist Church for provision, and Karen Ordmado, J uh, Jane Mariel Pangilinan as they would take their board exam and ABBC and BBC, uh, as they search for a new pastor and also for Odell Vaca that, uh, for her upcoming exam. Lord, I pray for the ministries of our church that you would always be exalted. I pray God that you would empower us and may uh, your will in way be done in our church. And this we ask and pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So, uh, Ngayon gabi, kung ngayon lamang po kayo nakadalo dito sa Baptist Bible Church, pakitaas lamang po ang inyong kamay. Meron po ba? Okay, since to be na tayo-tayo po ang mga nandito ngayon, and let's call Brother Isaiah. Let's all stand, and as we go around the auditorium, let's shake one another's hands as we sing the welcome song. There's a welcome here, there's a welcome here, there's a Christian welcome here, hallelujah, there's
so welcome here, they're so welcome here, they're so Christian welcome here. They're so welcome here, they're so welcome here, they're so Christian welcome here, hallelujah, they're so welcome here, they're so welcome here, they're so Christian Welcome here. Let's sing another song, hymn number 193 in your hymnals, All the Way My Savior Leads Me, hymn number 193. that first verse ready now sing all the way my savior leads me what have i to ask beside can i doubt his tender mercy who through life has been my guide and leave peace divineness comfort by faith in Him to dwell, for I know whatever befall me, Jesus do with all things well. For I know whatever befall me, Jesus do with all things well. All the way my Savior leads. Winding path I tread Gives me grace for every trial Feeds me with the living bread Though my weary steps may falter And my soul a thirst may be Gushing from the rock before me Oh, a spring of joy I see Gushing from the rock before me Lo, a spring of joy I see Thank you for singing. You may be seated. Life is unfair. That's sometimes we are, what we, how we respond whenever we are faced with so many, with many injustices, and also we would call the undeserved trials, and we tend to question God about what's really going on in our lives. You see, the book, the book of Psalm was written to address. Uh, this situation when we are going through difficulties in life. In fact, 69 of the 150 book, uh, Psalms, chapters in the book of Psalms, are dealing with lament of different degrees. Some are dealing with anger, and sometimes anger with God. And sometimes anger with a feel, fellow people, and they are uh, addressing their fee feelings to God. Because God is the only one who can answer this situation. And we tend to doubt God when we go through these times. But the passage that we are going to study today is a passage that admonishes us that uh, worrying, even when we could prosper, is a futile exercise because uh, we have a God who cares for us. We, are a, we have a God who will deliver the righteous and will judge the wicked. So the main idea of the psalm that we are going to study today has this thought, because God will judge the wicked and deliver the righteous, let us not fret. Shall we all turn our Bibles to the book of Psalm? And we're going to read the whole chapter, but we are going to read this installments. Uh, we're going to read this in portion, and shall we all stand up as we read from verses 1 to uh, 8. 
Um, shall we all stand up, please? A psalm of David. Fret not thyself of evildoers, neither be envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like a grass and wither like uh, the green herbs. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy ways unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as a light, and thy judgment as noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from, from anger, forsake wrath, fret not thyself. In any wise to do evil, shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we come to your presence and we ask you, God, that you would bless the reading of your word. Lord, I pray that you would um, talk to our hearts tonight and encourage us, oh Lord, at times that we are weak, and times that we would even question your kindness, your goodness, and your power. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, tayo po yung mapuna. Ito pong psalm na ito, ay, ang tawag po nito ay acrostic psalm. Alphabetical acrostic psalm na ang una po dito uh, na ang pinakaunang letter po ng, ng verse 1 begins with Aleph in the Hebrew alphabet. And the next begins with Beth, Gimel, and so on and so forth. So this is roughly uh, an acrostic psalm. Uh, an acrostic psalm in, most, in mo almost all parts. Uh, so that we will be able to bring it to our memory. Yan po ang purpose. Mga mnemonic devices na ginagamit ng biblical writers para madali nating ma, mga, ma, maalala ang mga salita ng Panginoon. Di ba nang mga kayo na nasa school, nagbibigay kayo ng parang acrostic para sa inyong mga answer, lalo pag iyan ay enumeration. Di ba? So ito rin ang ginagawa natin ng psalmist para madaling ma maalala natin. So, it simply states as a heading, a Psalm of David. Uh, ito po ay nagre-reflect din ng the same dilemma na ni, ni, ni Asap sa Psalm 73, magkabaliktad, Psalm 73 at Psalm 37, pero parehas ang kanilang tinutumbok. In fact, parehas halos ang kanilang problem na pinagdideal. So, it is dealing with the with the issue of fairness in life. When God seems to be unfair, at mapabasa natin sa pinag, uh, binasa lang natin that the psalmist, David himself, has been exposed to unjust persecution, injustice, at iba pang mga, mga, mga false accusation. And that could happen also to us as believers. So, in, when we are going through uh, difficulties such as this, May tatlong bagay lamang po ako dito na na is to, uh, uh, tatlong main uh, main uh, main points na nais ko pong uh, isulat ngayon. Number one, the command to obey. Commands to obey. Ano pong mga commands na dapat natin uh, sundin uh, when we go through injustice? Number one, do not fret. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be envious of the workers of iniquity, fear, they shall soon be cut down like grass and withered as green herb. To fret means to worry over, to be worked out, to be heated up when problems come to our life. When problems come to our life. Na parang heated, na ano tayo, yung bang nababalisa na hindi tayo mapakali. Nangyari na yan sa inyo and we worry, we question God oh, when this thing happen. Sinabi doon, do not fret over. When evil doers seemingly prosper, neither be envious of their seeming or apparent prosperity. Why? In spite of their seeming success, they shall soon be cut down like a grass and with wither as a green, green tree. Now, whenever we go to problems, at sabi naman, ang tagal-tagal naman ng Panginoon bago niya sagutin ang ating prayer, Bakit hindi pa niya siya sa kumikilos ng ganito? And we lose the perspective na, na ganito na God is not dealing in time but God is dealing in eternity. Na in comparison to eternity, 
ang short time dito na ang long time dito na ng prosperity of the wicked is only for a while. So don't fret over. Don't worry. Don't be worked out. Next is this trust in the Lord. Verse 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall that dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fe fed. Na tayo ay magtiwala sa Panginoon although yung mga commands dito ay seemingly seeming the, saying the same thing, this is just building up on the idea of fully committing ourselves to God. Putting our reliance on Him that God knows what He's doing and God knows what's best. So connected to the idea of trusting in the Lord is this. Delight thyself also in the Lord and He shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Uh, of thy heart. Next, that we would make God our greatest delight. The reason sometimes we are envious about the apparent prosperity of the wicked is this. We are envy of the things that we have, their influence that we have, their power that they, cont that they have. Bakit silang in charge eh? You begin question. Bakit silang may, kapang may kapangyarihan? When in fact they are scoundrels. Here is a pastor who is, ano, who is only uh, after the money of the church. At siya pa ang parang napaka-successful. At tayo na naghihirap gumagawa ng talagang trabaho. And we are find it hard, very hard, na magkaroon talaga ng nakikita natin na lasting result. God says, make me your delight. Hindi yung kanilang success. Huwag mong kainggitan ang kanila, ang, kay, ang mayroon man sila. Uh, I think it was David Jusek who, who said this, na kung halimbawa, nag-worry ka kasi gulay lang ang kinakain mo. To that, ganun, ganun. Tapos yung mga, ano, yung mga taong ito ay mga steak, mga lobster, saka yung mga mamahaling pagkain, nainggit ka sa kanila. Pero tingnan mo, it is just you being envious at the man na nasa death row na kumakain ng kanyang last meal, na ang gara-gara ng kanyang last meal, that this is the last meal that he could ever have. So, make God your delight. Uh, delight thyself also in the Lord. And trust on, and, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. So, when you, God is your delight, the triune God is your delight, then ang mangyari po niyan, babaguhin niya yung desires mo, na ang kanyang, del, ang kanyang deser, magiging desire mo, ang kanyang delight ay magiging delight mo, at hindi yung mga material at mga uh, anumang bagay dito sa lupa ang iyong bigyan ng katuwaan. Sabi po dito ni, uh, ni David Jusek, David advised the man or a woman of God to replace worry and envy with conscious delight in the Lord. This means to cheer one's heart by considering and mind by considering and by faith receiving the multiple blessings of God. So, may, hindi lamang ito basta na ano na, na, na produce natin this has to be worked out in our lives that we consciously make God our delight that doesn't come ano na parang ano na lamang yun automatically but this is um, by our constant effort of focusing our minds on God sabi ni James Montgomery Boyce the reason why many apparent Christians do not delight in God is that they do not know Him very well and the reason they don't know him very well is because they do not spend time with him. Kaya maraming mga Kristiyano hindi nagdi-delight sa Panginoon kasi they don't know God. Bakit ako mat magkakaroon ng tuwa kung hindi ko kilala siya? And the reason bakit hindi nila kilala ang Diyos is because they do not spend time with him and reading the word of God and in prayer. Next, ano pa D? Uh, commit thy ways unto the Lord and, he, and trust also in Him and He shall bring it to pass. 
and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So, it seems to be na kung sino pa yung mga manipulative, kung sino pa yung mga masasamang tao, sila po yung successful in making things happen according to their wishes. But here the scriptures tells us not to fret. He said, commit thy ways. Actually, the idea of commit in the Hebrew language is to roll over. Parang yung to roll over as in rolling over your, as to get rid of your burden. Isipin mo na, hindi mo na yung problema. Pro- i- ipagkaloob mo na yan sa Diyos. Rule over your ways, your burden unto the Lord. And trust also in Him. Um, trust also in Him and He shall bring it to pass. At rather in elaborate niya na, uh, He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord. Uh, okay, so the idea here is this na um, the idea here ng, ano, ng, ng resting in the Lord uh, ng idea dito is that God is going to vindicate you. One of these days, people may think that you are guilty of what they are accusing you of. But that is only for a while because in God's timetable, Maybe not in this life, but in eternity, He's going to show forth your righteousness that to for plain to all to see. The reason why wicked people are doing this because they do not think in times of eternity. They only think in their, in their short-time success, temporal success here on earth. Ano pa ang sinasabi po dito? Uh, sabi po dito ni Paul, As the light, it shall be visible to men to see as the light of the sun and the noonday. Na kagaya ng, ng liwanag na hindi mo yan kay, hindi yan kayang takpan ng anumang uri ng kadiliman ang Panginoon ang siyang maghahayag niyan. Rest also in the Lord. Next is rest in the Lord. Anong sabi po dito? Sa verse 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not, um, fret not thyself in any way um, to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For a little while the wicked shall not be. Yeah, thou shalt be diligent, consider his place, and it shall not be. Uh, it shall be, but the meek shall inherit the earth, and, they, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Rest in the Lord. Actually, kasama po ang verse 7 po dito. Na ang ibig sabihin po dito, ipaubayan natin sa Panginoon ang lahat. Neither should we uh, fret so much na anger would be our uh, motivating, our uh, dominant emotion. Now, there is a place for anger. And sometimes, eh, uh, Wrongdoings in the church is not corrected because there is too less anger in sin and too much compromise. When, when those who preach the, the word of God don't have the courage to call it what it is, to call spade a spade. But with regards to our emotion, the Bible says that cease prime anger to the point that we would do evil that we would think of evil, that such anger would result in evil work or evil actions and evil attitudes. The Bible says that the anger of man does not, uh, does not, ful- does not uh, fulfill the righteousness of God. So rest in the Lord. So that those are the commands to obey. And you would say, brother, this is so unfair. Bakit silang nagsasaksid? But remember this truth for living. God is sovereign. God is in sovereign control over everything. Even for the moment, wickedness seems to prosper. 
May kanta na, This is my father's world. Ito po ang sinabi ng third stanza, I think. This is my father's world. Oh, let me not forget that though their wrong seems off so strong, God is the ruler yet. This is my father's world. Why should my heart be sad? The Lord is king. Let heaven ring. God reigns. Let all earth be glad. Don't worry. God is in charge. So after telling the righteous to obey, the here is now a warning to the sinners. Warnings to heed. Verse 12 to, uh, verse 12, 12 to 22. The wicked plotted against the ju- the wicked plotted against the the wicked plotted against the just and gnashed upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he says, "They coming." The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bows to cast down the poor and the needy to slay such as upright of conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. The little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of the lambs. They shall consume, uh, they shall consume into smoke, and they shall consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as bless of him shall inherit the earth, that they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his ways. Okay, only up to verse 22. So that is another section. So warnings to him. To the wicked people, remember this. If you are fond of evil deeds, the Bible says that an evil schemes, that says that God will prostrate the devices of the wicked. Can you just imagine that people would make, would uh, would scheme up or would na magpaplano sila ng mga bagay against the just? Maghanap ng information para masiraan nilang isang tao. Kung sino sino ang kinakausa para makahanap ng info para masiraan ng isang tao. Magkakaroon ng spice para magbabantay para maging successful ang kan- iakala niya short time success para sa kanyang mga plans na siraan ang isang tao. The Bible says that the wicked will frustrate the devices of the weak, that the Lord will frustrate or disappoint the devices of the wicked. God is going to reveal someday what kind of people they really are, the monster that they really are. Or they, they might have some, a good reputation and they might have, might, might have influences, but God is going to uh, God is going to frustrate their wicked plans. Next, with regards to the wicked, God also hates or despises the riches of the wicked, but he loves the riches. He, uh, he loves even the little that a righteous man have. Sabi dito, a little that a righteous man had is better than many of the riches of the wicked. Kailan yun yung nagkaroon ng tao na nanalo ng saloto? Ilan nga yun? Yung kailan lang? Doon daw, daw pa daw sa bayan namin, sa Ligao City. Hundreds of millions of pesos. Tapos nagdududa na yung mga tao kung ano, kung sino kaya yun? Wala naman dito na biglang yumaman sa lugar natin. Iniisip tuloy nila na parang iskam yun. And sometimes, isisip natin, ako naghirap nito sa trabaho, tapos ganito lang ang ma- makukuha ko. Parang ang aking riches o ang aking uh, pera ay parang <laughs> sahod lang ng nasa minimum day worker. Minimum wage lang. The Bible says that even that's all the things that you have, even though it's even less. Um, a little that a righteous man hath is better than the many riches of the wicked. Nagkaroon ka nga ng pera, pero drug lord ka naman. 
Nagkaroon ka nga ng pera, pero kinuha mo naman sa maling paraan. And, and you are using that influence to gain control over a lot of people. God hates, God despises the riches of the wicked. What else? Verse 17, The arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord uphold it to righteous. God will break the power of the wicked. Arm is usually used as a metaphor for power. He said, God will break the arms of the wicked, but he upholds the righteous. What else? And eventually, God will destroy the wicked. 18 to 22 says here, uh, the eventual destruction of the wicked. Isang verse lang ang babasahin ko to represent all, verse 20. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke, and shall consume away. So, nakakita na ba kayo nang nagbabarbecue, tapo, uh, nag, nang nagbabarbecue tapos tumutulo dun yung taba ng barbecue? Tapos nag, nag-uusok? That is the, the, the figure of speech that is used here, that one day is coming when God is going to destroy the wicked and consume them away with smoke, with fire. Pa- apparently, talking about the eventual uh, doom of the of the wicked. Next. Now, after dealing with the wicked, he has no, he, he stated now some promises to lean on. Mga promises na dapat nating panghawakan. Ito maganda po ito. I want to commemorate the new beginning of verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in his ways. Though he fall, he will not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him in his hand. I have been young, and now I am old, yet I have never seen a right I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, he is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. God establishes the steps of the righteous. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng, the steps of the good man are ordered by the Lord. He establishes it. He strengthens it. But he also said that there is a possibility, possibility that even a righteous person may fall. But his fall is only temporary. Though he fall, he will not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholded him in his hand. At times that um, you have backslidden from the Lord and the Lord has convicted you along the way at ano ang nangyari, nanumbalik kayo sa Panginoon. Because it is the, it is His upholding, uh, it is his, uh, the power of His upholding hand. A righteous may fall, but He will not eventually fall, uh, He will not fall finally and fully. Now, anong ibig sabihin nito? Ang tunay na mananampalataya, Mahulog ba siya at dakila, napakalaki ng kanyang pagkahulog but he will not fall event yung bang ultimately and finally unto the end and fully unrepentant unto the end. Kasi po, uh, ang mga ang problema ngayon that there are some people who say na kahit i- i- ano po na si Jesus Christ, i-deny mo si Jesus Christ, save ka pa rin kasi you said a prayer before. But that's not what, uh, that's not what the Bible says. Ang tunay na mana ng palataya will be, will, though he fall, he will not be utterly cast down because the Lord upholds him in his hand. Sabi niya, furthermore, in sinuport niya, I have been young and now I am old, yet I have not, not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. So God will not forsake his own. Verse 37, depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked will be cut off. God will never forsake us. This reminds us of what is said in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Anong sabi doon? I will never, uh, be, uh, 
Let con your conversation be as without covetousness and be content as what as ye have. For, for he said, he will, I will never leave thee nor will forsake thee. Hindi tayo niya pababayaan, no kakalimutan man. What else? The Lord will give inheritance to his saints. 29 and 30. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom and his tongue talketh of judgment. Now, although sa Old Testament, ang thing, um, speaking of remaining in the land or not being moved away, speaking of being settled in the land of their fathers. Na magkakaroon sila ng inheritance. Because to them, the inheritance of the land is is a precious thing, a gift from God. But to us, as we live in the New Testament time, uh, we acknowledge that the inheritance is even more than earthly inheritance. But the inheritance that is heavenly. Peter said about this. Shall we turn our Bibles to 1 Peter chapter 1? Ito po ang sinasabi dito ni Peter. Chapter 1. Sabi sa verse, um, verse 4. To an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, and faded not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through the faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed um, in the last time. Anong sabi dito ng Panginoon sa mga saints that have been troubled, persecuted, and probably facing death? You have an inheritance. And your inheritance is incorruptible, is undefiled, and does not fade away. And also, reserved in heaven for you, kept by the power of God. Now, may question, alin ba doon ang kinikip? Yung inheritance o yung saint mismo? The answer is yes. For both. What else? God will also protect His saints. Balikan po natin ang ating binabasa sa Psalms 37. Uh, sabi po dito, sa Psalm 37 verse 30, um, 31 to 35. The law of God is in His heart and none of His uh, step shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeketh to slay him. But the Lord will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inheritance of the, la of the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have, okay, so here is a promise. Uh, here is a promise that God is going to, um, God is going to protect his saints. Kaya hindi tayo dapat magpifret. Because God is, will protect his own promises that we should lean on. God establishes the steps of the righteous. God will not forsake his saints. Saints. God will give his saints an inheritance and God will protect his saints. Now, here are some life observations to remember. Sabi niya dun sa 35 to 40. Um, I have seen the wicked in great power spreading himself like a, a green bay tree. Yet he is passed away. Aha, he was, and ha, and he was not. I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man. Behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressor shall be destroyed, and the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord and their strength in the time of trouble. And he is the strength in the time of trouble. The Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. So here are some observations that David personally have seen sa kanyang buhay. Sabi niya, nakita ko ang isang wicked is trying to spread himself as a, ano, as a tree na mahirap magbatuyuan ng, dam, ng, ng, ano, ng matuyuan ng, uh, na matuyot. Pero sabi niya, but later on, he's gone. Anong to speaking of King Saul? yung nagpe-persecute sa kanya or anybody else. But that is the observation in life that the prosperity of the wicked is only temporal. So, hindi tapat tayo mag, uh, mag, mag judge God by our own timetable but of God's timetable. The, which means that 
his observation that the prosperity of the wicked is only temporary. Dun sa Psalms 37, uh, uh, when the psalmist, uh, 73, when the psalmist Asap began getting envious at the prosperity of the wicked, uh, parang sabi niya, gusto ko magsalita, kaya lang baka ma-offend ko yung mga ibang mga tao at baka ano, gusto ko magreklamo sa Diyos, kaya lang baka magkosa ko ng offense sa ibang tao. Sabi niya, ang hirap dalhin nito, hindi ka makapagsalita, hindi mo ma-express at ang bigat-bigat ng iyong pain na nararamdaman. Sabi niya, until I went unto the sanctuary of the Lord and then understood either end. That God put their riches, them, in slippery places. Their riches is God's punishment for them. Na parang ilinigay sila sa slippery places that just because they have their riches, they have, they see no a uh, reason to repent, to tell I am prosperous in a way. Anong problema? I have God's favor. So they thought. But it is only temporary. Um, you have to remember that there is a judgment day one day. May judgment day. God will judge all sin. Now, ito ang tandaan natin. It's either it will be judged in you or in Jesus Christ. Kaya kung halimbawa, may kasalanan ka pa at tinatago mo ang iyong kasalanan and you are trying to live a life that is a double life and think that you can hide that from people and from also from God all the time, you're mistaken. Because God sees everything. Nakikita yan ang Diyos. You may living a life of adultery and immorality at akala mo walang nakakaalam. God will expose it one day and that shows a life that is a life of unsaved. If you delight in sin, if sin is your delight instead of the Lord. So, why not come and repent of the sin and trust on the atoning work of Jesus Christ and May, you may think of yourself as one na masyado ko na naging involved na sa ganitong kasalanan, parang ang hirap ng alisin. Now repent of the sin and trust only in the finished work of Jesus Christ. And uh, He will save you. His work on the cross, His resurrection is the only thing that can save you from your sin. What else? Promises to remember. Second, the end of the upright is peace. Verse 37. Uh, mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace. Now, sabi dito, sino daw ang perfect na tao? Sabi nila, ay si Mark. Sabi sa Bible, mark the perfect man. Now, hindi. Ang ibig sabihin ng mark the perfect man, bantayan mo, obserbahan mo yung, yung perfect. Now, it's not talking about sinless perfection. The word perfect here is something to do with what, with heart who is inclined to God. A, a, a man with integrity. So, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Now, we are not just. We are not upright because of our own, uh, of our own accomplishment. Hindi po naging righteous tayo because of our own accomplishment. Any righteousness that we have right now is a product, is a byproduct of the righteousness that Jesus Christ and the triune God imputed on us. When he performed the spiritual surgery on our hearts, uh, created faith and repentance in our heart, and then God justified us, uh, God justified us, and, and he started the ongoing process of sanctification sa buhay natin, Doon tayo nagiging righteous. We still fall at times. The Basa Bible, though he fall, he, may not be, he will not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholded him in his hand. Sometimes our, Christ, uh, our, ta, our Christian walk will not always be perfect. But there must be a growing progress in holiness. Mark the perfect man. Why? And behold the upright, because the end of that man is peace. His, another observation is this. 
God will eventually destroy transgressors. 39, 38. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, and the end of the wicked shall be cut off. So a warning to false professors. A warning to wicked men and to the hypocrites within the church who are not possessors of eternal life, but just mere professors in the mouth. Sabi nga po na isang theologian, it's better to go to hell from pagan than from Baptist Bible Church. Pagan countries. Kasi magiging accountable tayo sa bawat katotohanan na napakinggan natin. And it's going to add to our punishment. Mas, ma- mas magaan pa ang impyerno sa mga tao na hindi pa nakarinig ng gospel. So, ito, uh, God will eventually destroy transgressors. Lastly, God will deliver the righteous. The last uh, major point is, uh, is application. God will, liber- will deliver the righteous from the wicked. Here is what verses 39 to 38 says. But the salvation of the upright is of the Lord. He is their strength in time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Okay, the reason why God is going to deliver them because he, they put their trust in Him. So, not because they merit that help, but because they trusted in the Lord. Because it's by their faith that they are declared righteous before God. So, if you have this relationship with God, that you've been declared righteous before God, remember that you can claim this promise. But don't ever think within yourself that you are exempted from problems in life. Because when life seems to be unfair, remember, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? Shall we all sign up, please? Heavenly Father, we come to you and we ask you, God, that you would bless the things that we have learned tonight, that we would fully trust only in your finished work, that we would also live our our life that is pleasing to you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, remain standing please as we pray for our offering. So this time we are called Brother Brother Noveda, Angel Bird, to please come and, um, and pray for our offering. Let's pray, Lord, salamat po sa gabing binigayin sa amin, Lord, salamat po sa mensahe ng aming narinig, Lord, at i-bless po ang aming offering, Lord, na may magamit, Lord, sa inyong salita, Panginoon. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa Panginoon Yesus. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Dennis, for delivering us God's Word tonight. And as we close in a song, may I request everyone to please stand and turn to hymn number 193. All the way my Savior leads me, hymn number 193, we'll be singing the last verse of that song. All the way, ready, sing. All the way my Savior leads me, oh, the fullness of His love, perfect rest to me is promised in my Father's house above. When my spirit clothed in mortal wings its flight to realms of death, my song through endless ages Jesus leads me all the way this my song through endless ages Jesus led me all the way good evening we are now dismissed <laughs>